beautiful day here in East London, Victoria Park. Crispy cold, freezing, temperatures just above zero degrees centigrade. It's beautiful to look at the sun rays, beautiful tree shadows, frozen fallen leaves and frozen grass on the ground and white and green shades of grass. We are lucky here in London that we can experience beautiful time of Christmas season. Light switch-ons, Christmas decorations and Christmas trees and streets and shops of London. Not all UK cities can enjoy the same atmosphere though. Listen to this. Christmas is cancelled as festive markets and light switch-ons scrapped across UK. The Christmas spirit faced a Scrooge-like challenge. In the quaint towns and bustling cities across the United Kingdom, a festive spirit usually descends upon the land during the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas. However, this year a Scrooge-like shadow has loomed over the holiday cheer, casting a pall over the much-anticipated festivities. The once vibrant Christmas markets, twinkling with lights and brimming with holiday cheer, have fallen silent their stalls shattered and the vendors left with empty baskets. The merry melodies of carolers and the joyous laughter of children once the soundtrack of the season have been replaced by an unsettling silence. The iconic Christmas light switch on ceremonies, once a spectacle of dazzling illuminations and communal jubilation have been unceremoniously cancelled, their glow extinguished before it could even ignite the spirit of the season. The blame for this festive gloom falls upon two formidable adversaries, safety concerns and budget restraints. Fearful of potential hazards and mindful of dwindling funds, city councils have reluctantly made the difficult decision to forego these beloved traditions. In the city of Lincoln, England's oldest Christmas market have been scrapped, its merrymakers dispersed and its stalls left to gather dust. The decision made in the name of public safety has left many hearts heavy with disappointment. Manchester and Sheffield too have succumbed to the way of safety concerns, their Christmas light switch-ons relegated to the realm of cherished memories. The bustling crowds and infectious energy of these events have been replaced by an air of melancholy. The Grinch of financial woes have also cast its spell on the festive spirit, forcing Brighton and Hove City Council to abandon its Christmas market plans. The lack of commercial partner and the mounting costs proved unsurmountable, leaving the city without its cherished festive hub. Medway Council in Kent, grappling with a challenging financial situation, has taken the drastic step of cancelling Christmas lights altogether. The once dazzling displays of holiday cheer have been replaced by an austere darkness, a stark reminder of the economic realities that grip the nation. Yet, amidst the gloom, a gleam of hope persists. Private companies have stepped in to illuminate three of Medway's town centers, their lights, a beacon of resilience and community spirit. In Oxford, a cycle lane dispute threatened to derail the city's Christmas market, but new organizers stepped forward, their determination to preserve the festive tradition unwavering. Their efforts ensured that the market would continue to spread its seasonal cheer. Felix Toast Christmas Market, however, succumbed to a lack of interest. It's safe, its fate sealed by waning enthusiasm. Similarly, the popular Lake District Christmas Market in Wildermet was cancelled due to insufficient funding its organizers left to lament the loss of a cherished tradition. Despite the setback, the spirit of Christmas remains defiant, refusing to be extinguished by the challenges that lie ahead. Community groups and local businesses are stepping up their determination to spread festive cheer unwavering. They are organizing caroling sessions, arranging tree lighting ceremonies and hosting holiday markets, their efforts ensuring the spirit of Christmas will endure even in the face of adversity. The story of Christmas in the UK this year is not one of despair, but of resilience and adaptability. It is a testament to the human spirit's ability to overcome obstacles and find joy even in the face of adversity. So let us raise our voices and carol. Let us adorn our homes with festive lights and let us celebrate this true spirit of Christmas, a spirit of love, generosity and hope. For even in the face of challenges, the spirit of Christmas will prevail, reminding us that the true gifts of the season lie not in material possessions, but in the warmth of human connection and the unwavering belief in the magic of the season.